Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I am holding one of my original old rackets. Why am I holding it? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so the number one or two questions that I get asked literally on a weekly basis is, when do I get a new racket? When do I need a new racket? How often should I switch my rackets? Well, I'm holding one of my original old, old 4.4s that I played with for literally 16 years. And I have maybe four or five of these, or I had. Uh, this was my most beat up one, and this was probably number four in my lineup. Um, I don't know if any of you even remember this racket, but it was a super light racket. It was a 4.4 mid plus, 95 square inches, half inch longer. They don't make rackets like this anymore. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty beat up, right? And, but how often should I have switched this out, right? Let's go to the most conservative person I know, Coach Rock. All right, this is gonna be the last putter I ever get. Thanks to NorCal Putters and my buddy Carlos for taking care of me. I chose the finish, I chose the material, I chose the shaft, I chose the grip. I pretty much chose the putter. Thank you, Carlos, for hooking me up to get your customized putter to whatever specs you want. NorCal Putters is the place. Check them out. All right, so welcome, Coach Rob. Thanks, Harry. You probably never seen this racket before. No, I remember this one. You do? Yeah, the 4.4. Yep, 95. Yeah, I don't remember any of them with this much lead tape. <laughs> um, well, you know me. I do, but oh. I still don't remember one at that era with that much lead tape. <laughs> so you can see that this is well used. This is probably one of my most well used rackets. Yes. Uh, if I were to bring this racket to you and say, hey, coach, do you think I need a new racket? What would you say? I'd say this belongs in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was usable in its current state. It is Correct. not cracked. Nope. Um, you could play with it and you would be, you know, probably go out and enjoy hitting. Um, it wouldn't, you know, it's just not obviously current, but. Right. Current meaning a current model or a newer model. Right, something of this decade. But it's playable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right? And if, it, I mean, if I, I'm so feel good. used to it, then why should I switch? Well, that's a good question. So to me, a lot of times, um, frames kind of get a little soft. They kind of get a little mushy. Mm -hmm. And they don't seem to have the same amount of life. Right. And so I know sometimes, I know back when I was playing a lot, if I you know was breaking strings and I kept restringing it, uh, at some point, it would be like, I just didn't feel like I had the same response. Um, mm, power. Same stiffness. power, stiffness. Um, and it was just kind of like, it was time. It, it was it was time to change. I felt like, you know, I had probably six of these. Um, and obviously, I had a favorite of all of them. And then this was probably down the, down the row, maybe number six or number five or number four, depending on the condition. Um, it, it's not cracked. Um, it still played stiff enough. I mean, I didn't really notice that it lost too much stiffness. Right. I mean, it, it, it's, it, I mean, <laughs> I mean, at least I had one. That was my main goal was just in case I needed to get down to this one that I still had one to play right. with. And it felt, um, you know, moderately close to, let's say, a the newer one of the same one sure way know? back in the day yeah way back in the day i'm i mean i think we're talking about maybe six seven years ago is when right. i used these so not too long ago right and i like i said i used them for about 16 years so i mean i finally switched to the burn hundred because i finally found something after that 
long of a period to switch to. But people ask me all the time, though, how often should I switch rackets? What would right. your answer be? I think it depends on what your level is, how hard you're hitting, how often you're hitting. Um, you know, are you abusive? Are you a guy whose racket accidentally or purposely hits the <laughs> ground, hits the net post, net, hits the net cord, maybe a fence? Right. Um, so those, how much abuse you put on your racket? How much abuse are you stringing it all the time? Because I think, I mean, in what in stringing, the frames are expanding and contrasting as Correct. you're stringing. So all of that creates, um, you know, wear and tear on the frame. Right. So... So I don't know so if you could give a year, like in two years. I, I don't know if you could really c categorize it that way. I think it's based on just, you know, each individual player and what their preferences are. I guess we could ans answer the question, like the, the more you break your strings, right, um, the more you play, um, and probably the most important thing, how often you want to switch Right, and some people are latest and greatest, and they want the fresh racket, fresh new thing that comes out each year or two. Right. Um, and there are those people that are, you know, brand specific of, I got to have the latest and greatest. Mm -hmm. um, so so I, they may not wear it out. It just may be time to, for them to move on to the next thing because maybe that racket stopped giving them great shots, and they think a new racket's going to help improve their game because, you know. It's worked for them before, and they're going to try again. So the mental aspect of getting a new racket. Maybe the racket can make the player. Well, they see on TV that the pros are changing rackets with ball changes, and they change balls, I think, seven and nine, mm -hmm. um, you know, nine games on, on. They bring out fresh balls, boom, they got a fresh stick, fresh strings. Um, but then the pros carry like literally 10 to 12 rackets in the bag. I think they have a fair amount of rackets in the bag <laughs> and they give them to their box guy to say, hey, go get it to the You'll stringer. Get it strong, yeah. And I want it tighter or looser or the same. Right. But, but yeah, I, I think that's what we do. It's just how much you want to tolerate. Because I literally see people still using rackets like this that's 20 years old. And I mean, I guess those people don't really care. I mean, even if they play at a higher level, it's just what they're used to. It's part of the extension of their arm. Right. No, there were some players, I think, you know, some guys on tour that I think they changed the paint colors because he wanted to stay with the same frame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and they, But they needed to make the, you know, the, it look like a newer model. Sure. We won't give any names, but. No, but we, we know who they are. Figure they're it out. very, very uh, particular, let's say. And that's fine. That's, <laughs> you know. If if that's what you are confident in, and the new ones are a little different and don't quite feel the same, or you don't have the same confidence in it, yeah, sometimes a a change is good just for the the mental aspect of your tennis playing. Yep. So uh, I'm gonna let you guys decide on that because it really depends. We got like a wide end of the spectrum: people who never change and people who feel like they have to change because the racket will make you better. Do we know if that's actually true, Coach? I, you know, I, uh, in trying rackets, people go, oh, this is the racket for me, and they hit like 10 balls with it. And all of a sudden, it's the new greatest thing. Now, all of a sudden, they're watching the ball. They're more focused on, you know, thinking about the feel and the hit. And they play a little bit better because they walk out before and just go, oh, let's go play. And they don't have that same sense of new. So I call know. that the honeymoon period. There you go. Well said. <laughs> and a lot of the honeymoons end in divorce. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's why usually when we say, hey, you're trying rackets, play a set with it. Because get over the quick honeymoon and see if it's still yeah. something that you now that you're playing an hour or so with that you still like or want to continue playing with. Right. I agree. I totally agree. So, guys, it's up to you. Whatever your... Um, Tolerance level is, if you really want to get that new racket, feel free. If you really want to stick with your old racket, hey, stick with it if it works for you. Coach Rob, thank you for joining me for this uh, segment of this old racket. This old racket. <laughs> Keeping this old racket or buying the new racket that will become this old racket. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.